Scorpio, welcome to your Venus retrograde. Love reading for March and April. Um, and I'm doing this in a fun way, and I'm doing it from the point of view of let's see who's going to come back to terrorize us. So, um, and see if we can figure out who it is. There is, um, I'm a Scorpio rising myself, so I appreciate you guys. You guys are really good to me. Like, shares, and subscribes. You're wonderful. Join me on Saturdays at 10.30 a.m. Island Girl Tarot for a live drawing. You can reach me at islandgirl2008 at gmail.com. That Island Girl has two L's on the end of girl2008 at gmail.com. With that said, I want to get right to Scorpio. Scorpio, 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 Scorpio. Who's coming back? Here you are, Scorp. <clears throat> Aha. Okay, well, Scorpio, and then the bottom of the deck was the Ten of Cups. So I'm going to say that this was a really, whoever this is coming in, it was a really nice relationship, um, and it looks nice. Some of these have come out, and you could tell that they were just tragedies unfolding. This looks like it was a really nice relationship. Here you are, Scorpio rising, Scorpios, and um, sun, moon, and rising. Um and here is, here is our partner, and that's an air sign, uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It may, this may have been somebody that's a little bit younger than you are when you all dated. Um, I think you all had a great relationship is what it looks like. And, um, but something very unexpected happened, and it changed everything with the wheel and the tower. And I just feel like, they may be, they may have had to move for a new job, something to that effect, and it just really broke your heart. Um, and maybe, it, it, you know, it almost looks like maybe they knew this and they didn't share it with you. You know, they kept something from you with this moon card. That's that's a card of secrets in this in this reading. Um, so I'll be interested, Scorpio. Let me know if we have an air sign that's coming back. As I'm telling everybody, you know, if you get back together in a Venus retrograde, it's probably not going to last. So if you want to go out and have a good time, if you can, you know, have fun without getting emotionally crushed, you know, okay. Otherwise, just tell them to wait until mid-April, and you know, till she goes direct and, and do that. I've also got two cards here that I find very interesting, and they're both delay cards. So it makes me feel like, you guys, that this is a relationship that is supposed to happen that's been in, in a delay. And this Venus retrograde is going to bring this person back. But like I said, just be careful and be honest with them. Just say, look, you know, I like you, love you, whatever. I want this to work out, but this is not the right time, astrologically speaking. You know, we just need to wait a month, you know, to, to really give ourselves the best shot. And then you might even do your uh, natal birth charts and progressions and, and that kind of thing and, and pick a really good day. If you need some help with that, just email me and I'll send you some links. So, well, Scorpio, I hope I hope this was fun for you. I'm enjoying doing, in, doing them. And um, please, by all means, leave me some feedback. I'd love to hear from you all. And again, have a great, uh, great weekend. It's a full moon tomorrow in Virgo, uh, so get your moon back on. And I hope everybody has a great, a great weekend. I will be dropping the financials on St. Patrick's Day. So luck of the Irish to all of us. Take care. Bye, Scorp.